Okay, so sometimes you want to make some homemade treats for your cats and you realize that oftentimes when you make treats for your cats, your dogs are like, oh, 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 what is that? I want some too. And you figure out that a lot of these treats are good for both your cats and dogs. Um, but sometimes you set out and you just want to make a special treat for your cats and that's what I'm doing today. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, my dogs are going to beg, they're going to want these too, but I'm making this recipe special for all those kitties out there. dogs are going to beg for these too. I'm making these special for the kitties. We're making some homemade delicious crunchy kitty snacks. Now I originally got this recipe from Dr. Karen Becker. She's a very popular holistic veterinarian. I follow her. I encourage you to follow her. She's awesome. But let's get right in to this recipe special for our kitties. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a cup of ground turkey. I know that's an odd unit of measure for some ground meat, but that's what we're working with here, a cup of ground turkey. Uh, we're gonna take a package of sardines, and notice these are in water, no salt added. Make sure the sardines you buy are in water, no salt added. Giving salt to your cats can be very dangerous. We don't wanna do that. And then we've got some chicken baby food. Now, again, when you're going to the store and you're buying some chicken baby food for this recipe, please make sure to check the ingredients label. We don't wanna give our cats anything that's toxic to them. There shouldn't be anything in it but chicken, maybe some water, chicken broth, chicken puree, that kind of stuff. We don't want anything to say, you know, garlic, onions, anything like that. We're just looking for chicken. So that's what we got here is some baby food, chicken. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a bowl, and the first thing we're gonna do is take our sardines, I'm gonna drain them, and I'm gonna smash them. Okay, once we got our sardines smashed, then we want to add the other ingredients and mix it all together. All right, now that we've got all of our ingredients mixed together, I have my oven set at 325 degrees, and I have a small baking pan here. Um, you can use a square one, of course. I just happen to have a round one laying around, and I have it sprayed with my coconut oil, so we've got a grease pan here. I'm gonna take the mixture, um, which is just the turkey, the crushed or uh, smashed sardines, and the jar of chicken baby food, and I'm gonna put it in to our pan here a greased pan, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna spread it out, um, and I wanna get the thickness as even as I possibly can in the pan. All right, so I've got that pretty even and all throughout the pan, pretty even. Again, I have the oven preheated to 325 degrees. We've got our mixture in our baking pan and I'm gonna pop it in for 60 minutes. All right guys, our Kitty Crunch is now out of the oven and I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack. As you can see, it had a lot of moisture in it so it's already pulled away from the edges here. But I'm gonna pull it, put it on a cooling rack, I'm gonna let it cool down. Once it's completely cool, then we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna break it into pieces. Okay, we're back with our Kitty Crunch, and I've got it out of the oven, and I've already started kind of pulling it apart, but as you can see, um, you can just take it once it cools down and pull it apart 
with your hands. I'm gonna pull it into bite-sized pieces. Now we're gonna go and test it out and make sure our cats like it. Um, I am sure they will. There's nothing but yummy, yummy goodness in here. We've got turkey, sardines, that's what they're really gonna be attracted to, and that chicken baby food. Now, um, once I have this all pulled apart into little pieces, I'm gonna put a few pieces in the fridge, just enough to last about three days in the refrigerator, and the rest I'm gonna vacuum seal it and I'm gonna put it in the freezer. And that can last up to three months in the freezer as long as you vacuum seal it. So let's go see what our cats think. Is it yummy? Yummy, yummy. Good boy. All right, I'll let you have it. All right, so there you have it, our Kitty Crunch healthy, delicious, homemade cat treats. Just three ingredients, grain-free. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you try this video, if you try the recipe and your cats really love it, let me know. I want to hear from you. Also, share it with your friends so they can try it for their cats too. I'll see you next time at My Furry Family.